Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Toasters, I did a thing. I changed lanes, I changed careers. Yes, I did this about three weeks ago. I'm actually in a, a program uh, within this industry, within this company, to be one of their uh, unit managers. And so it's a 12 to a 16 week program, a totally different industry than I've been in. I've been in IT for 25 years, and this is the restaurant industry, the hospitality industry, something totally different. I'll still be a manager, but totally different uh, customer base, clientele, uh, different coworkers, but management is management. People are people in my eyes, but it will be a challenge for me. It will be a challenge, and that's what I was looking for. And I know many of you can feel me. Uh, you've been doing the same thing for years and you don't have a challenge. You don't feel challenged. You want to change careers. You want to switch lanes. You don't know how to go about it or you don't know. You don't have the confidence or the support to do so. But maybe, you know, this 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 testimony, uh, my wisdom uh, that I've gained can can help you. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I've been in IT for 25 years. And I can honestly say it was not totally fulfilling. It was fulfilling financially, uh, made uh, some great money in IT, climbed the ladder, did some wonderful things, saw the world through IT. Man, I don't know if I would have seen many places if not for IT, met some great people through IT. And so very fortunate, very grateful. But I got into IT as a way just to make a living, to support a family. And so it served its purpose. Very grateful. Uh, I can't complain. Uh, you know, I worked hard, studied hard, with no experience, uh, no history with computers, anything like that. And uh, just just grinded and worked hard, hustled. And so uh, I'm very fortunate. But from a spiritual standpoint, it has never been fulfilling. Um, it, you know, IT is not something I brought home. And so I knew it wasn't a passion because, you know, when something when you're, when you're passionate about something, you don't see it as work, solely work. It's something you enjoy. So you don't try to cut it off when you get home. You, you can't wait to get to it. And so um, I've never been in that situation. You know, I love working with the people uh, many times, but the industry, you know, not so much. Uh, but like I said, I'm very grateful, though. But. Months back, man, I've been having visions or premonitions, uh, dreams, whatever you want to call it, that I need to focus on me and do what is going to make me happy. I've been, I've been having this, man, this, this message come to me for a few months. And then one day in one of my lives, my Facebook, well, my YouTube lives on a Tuesday, I can't remember what the topic was, but my Power Circle brother, Lone Star Music, came on. And uh, I promoted him from the chat. And this brother, man, he's very in-depth with the astrology, with the zodiac signs and readings. And he gave me a reading on my live. You who were on that live, who followed that live, uh, can attest to this. He gave me a reading. And he hesitated as he was going to reveal the reading to me. But I said, go ahead, brother. You know, I had a feeling what he was going to say. But uh, he said his reading is showing that I need to focus on me, that I need to stop pouring in to so many people and pouring to myself more. This isn't the time for romance, he read. This is the time to focus on me, to be selfish. And I was like, wow, man. And he didn't want to read it because my wife was in the chat. And who wants to hear? Who wants to reveal to someone while their wife is on the chat that this isn't the time for romance for him. So I understood it. But, hey, it is what it is, right? So uh, I said, no, bro, that's confirmation because I've been getting those messages. And so that's confirmation. And so, uh, man, just, just by chance, man, I, I ran across this opportunity and I said, why not? Why not, man? It's a huge chain. And, uh, I really, when I applied, I really didn't think they would accept me in their program. 
Uh, and they have this program because they, they really vet their people, their managers, uh, who they want to bring on uh, because it is an investment. Uh, so I get it. But I really didn't think they would call me up. I just threw it out there because I'm heavy IT. I have no experience in the restaurant or hospitality business. I hadn't worked in a restaurant since I was like 15. And so I just like, hey, why not? I applied. It hit me up. It hit me up. And uh, yeah, so I'm in the program, man. Second phase. There's about five phases. I'm in the second phase. And uh, <clears throat> it's going well so far. And so, you know, this is a this is a big change for me. And I'm not, I'm not nervous. I'm not insecure about it. I'm confident that this is the right choice because this is something I've been wanting to do for a few years. But these visions, this message, these messages have been coming to me for the last few months. And so I'm very confident about this change. But there is some anxiety uh, because it's new. And who wants to fail? Everybody wants to succeed. And that's the thing I think that stops a lot of people from making change because they're scared of the unknown. And this is an unknown for me. It is. But I'm determined to do it, man. Um, I'm, I'm confident I'm going to succeed. Yes, there's going to be bumps in the roads. There's going to be a, there's going to be a learning curve that comes with it. But you got to jump out there on faith, faith in yourself, faith in the process. And do your due diligence. Study well. Put your best foot forward and just do it. You know, and that's just what it is, man. So if you have thoughts of changing careers or, or changing anything in your life and you don't have the confidence, the best way to get confidence is just do something. There's no way around it. There are no short, no shortcuts to gaining confidence. You just have to do it. Uh, and it's okay to, to fail. Just get up, go at it again. Uh, but be prepared. Be prepared for success. Be prepared for to uh to face challenges but keep a positive attitude that's that's the main thing keep a positive attitude you know i like to uh compare life to to driving on the highway a lot and most accidents happen because of distracted drivers distracted drivers and the most dangerous time to drive is when you're switching lanes. Think about it, man. When you're switching lanes, changing lanes, man, you have to look in the back of you through your rear view mirror. You have to look on the side through your side mirror. You also have to pay attention to what's in front of you because traffic can stop suddenly. So, man, you gotta be have your you gotta have your head on the swivel but also be focused on the goal. And the goal is to switch lanes safely. And that's life, man. When you're switching lanes, we have all these distractions that we got to focus on. We're focused on family, providing. We're focused on judgment, people judging us. We're focused on failing, not being successful in this change and looking like an idiot, looking like a fool. You know, it may be, uh, a change in pay, and this is a change in pay. This is a drop in pay. Uh, some will consider it a considerate drop in pay, but uh, you know, I got confidence in myself that I'll exceed you know where I'm at now. But uh, yeah, we got all these distractions, man, and we get caught up in life and what we think is important and who we think is important. But you got to do what feels good to you as long as it doesn't hurt you know, anyone else or, or does any, does something to someone else's life, you know, but, uh, do what's, do what's good for you. Uh, put your best foot forward, be confident and just know, no, you got to claim it that you're going to succeed, you know, stay balanced though, because roadblocks will appear. They will challenges will appear, stay balanced, but just know this is just a challenge. This is just a roadblock. I'll get over this. I'll get through this. I'll get around this. And I will succeed. Keep your mind on the vision, on the goal. Yes, be aware that there's something in front of you. There's something on the side. There's something behind you. But change that lane. Switch lanes. And uh, listen, man, you'll be more 
uh, more happy. You'd be happier, more satisfied, uh, more content, more joyful doing what you want to do. Yeah, so, you know, I had a great career in IT, had some great jobs, some, some great money, some great titles, whatever, you know, but it wasn't fulfilling. And all good jobs, all great jobs are not fulfilling. You got to do what's fulfilling to you. And, and nobody can determine what's fulfilling to you. You have to make that judgment, that assessment, and uh, do what's right for you. So, yeah, don't be afraid to change lanes, man, ever. Don't ever be afraid to change lanes and do what's best for you. As always, toasters, from me to you, love, peace.